Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. According to USGS, at about 9.08 Central Daylight Time, there was a magnitude 4.8 earthquake near Puerto Rico. The significance of this earthquake, besides being along the trench, is the location with a mono passage. This area here is capable of producing a very large earthquake. I don't know if you can see this line here, but the mono passage goes up and bluntly ends there at the Puerto Rican Trench. It was deep, 51 kilometers in depth, which is about 32 miles deep. Only two people reported feeling this earthquake. According to the Did You Feel It um, page for USGS, here's the location of the two. Yeah, see they got the uh, Mona Passage listed here. Usually after a large earthquake occurs, then some shallower ones come along. They are listing this as a Mona Passage earthquake. I believe it was October 11th of last year, 2018. There was a magnitude uh, 7.5 earthquake that created uh, landslides along the Mona Passage. Uh, that earthquake claimed 100 lives. Then in September of this year, there was a magnitude 6.0 near the same location. According to the European Agency, EMSC, it had a depth of 10 kilometers. And I'll show you how close that is to the other earthquake. I'll bring this out. Right there. That's the 6.0. Today's 4.8. The Mona Passage is what they call a rift zone on one side of the fault zone is what they call a scarp which has great uplift and that can cause a landslides which would then cause tsunamis because of the way the islands are created here most people are living along the shorelines the outside edges of the islands because the interior is too mountainous to build on during large earthquakes you have what's called liquid fraction where the ground actually turns into quicksand and yeah you know what happens when you step into quicksand, right? But it also causes buildings to sink, um, infrastructure to collapse, etc. There's multiple fault lines that run down here south of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and up towards Jamaica. They know that the strain has built up over here, or it's capable of having uh, a very large earthquake again like the one that happened in 1692 by Jamaica. They figured they could have um, maybe a 7.0 to a 7.3 according to um, notes on Wikipedia. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, put it down below. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.